Yo, what's up, guys? Uh, let's see if we got all the insights done, right? Yes, we watched this, so... So that one's next, but let's, uh, let's keep going with the game here. Okay. Sometimes it's hard, because you forget where you were and what puzzles you were doing. Come on, girl. Okay, so I remember now. Oh, wow. Okay, so you guys watch me do this puzzle already, but sometimes you gotta redo stuff. And now we got sharing for survival. And we've got this poor boy. Let's push the mountains breaking down and bring him over here. Guys, you see what's going on here, man. Solving puzzles, pulling up water. Uh, what you call it? The levee. You gotta save her, bro. So we did see this uh, part already. Let's see what new insights we got. Sharing for survival. Everything is alive. So here we go. Sharing for survival. Central to the ideology of the Inupiat is, is the idea of sharing. Being able to feed the community, feed others. That's why we hunt, you know, in the old days, it's, that's, that's what you needed to survive, you know. The sharing is important because it's how the community survives together collectively. We just give. That's how I grew up. That's the way I'm always going to be because of who we are. We always think about other people first. If if our people didn't share in you know in the old days, we wouldn't have survived in this harsh you know climate environment. All right, that's awesome. Let's continue. The girl and the fox are blown out. Oof. Through the blowhole of the whale, poof. They were thrown high into the air. Look, above the birds. Like they were falling into the sky. The girl and the fox washed up. Below a coastal village. Cool, man. Maybe there'll be some people. That would be hot. One day he wondered. What or what is causing the weather to be like this anyway? Sea and air. We've earned a trophy. Insights. We watched them all. Okay. I get confused, man, because it pops up. But you didn't unlock one, you know? Oh, these graphics are sick. Got him. Alright, so let's watch them as we go, right? Big time, little time, you did King on and in those uh, three islands are the stepping stones to get to America. So King Island is this absolutely beautiful place off the coast of Alaska. And if you can imagine being on this really kind of rocky island that kind of shoots up from the water to these cliffs. Damn, and then what the fuck? And you look up and there are these houses. They were built on the cliff up high because of the ice. Being an island in the Bering Sea, you have ice that's being pushed by the winds onto the island. So it's going to pile up uh, 50, 60 feet high. Structures are still there today and uh, incredible. people have returned to the island. It's a growing community as the people return back to their island. Let's go. 
That jump looks sick in the background. Come on, Fox, you can make it. Yo, she got bodied. You know, Fox is going to have to make that jump. Or die. Straight up. There you go. You know, the guy was talking. These controls, man, sometimes they just get you. Here we go. The jump on it again. Oh. Okay, let's go back. Make the jump. He knows enough to follow. Uh oh. It's not an L. I thought it was, man. Okay. Dang, this is a lot of shit to have to do right now. What in the world? Oh, okay. Well, let's bring him, right? Gonna stop on that um bunk. Oh no. Come on, Fox. You could just climb up that shit, no? Give me that now. Give me that now. All right. So let's watch it. When I was young, my mom, whenever the northern lights came out, she just whistle. <laughs> Boy, they come alive. Just keep whistling, and that aurora will just like you know. You can almost hear it. And then she explained to me uh, a little bit later that those are children. And children who passed away when they were children. You don't want to draw them in too much, you know, is what she said. Because then they could play football with your head, play Eskimo football. And that's what they want to do. They're always playing with children. Don't play out without your hood on. If you have, don't have your hood on, the Aurora person is going to come down and chop your head off and play ball with your head. It wasn't like they were. All right, I see that. Bad, you know, or it was like a scary story. Yeah, we get it, man. They're just too big. It was just that's to you what, that that's how. To that you just toy them. That's cool, man. Interesting uh, take on the Northern Lights. I can see him starting to come into play here. Yep. I'm that. Oh, and get bodied. My man just did this straight snatch me up. That was pretty awesome how the game set that up. That would be funny as hell. Their little trails. The fucking graphics are so crazy, man. Oh 
no, he still got me anyway. I tried to duck him. You know, what do you want from me? Oh no. I mean, I really don't know which way I'm going here. Oh shit, he doesn't grab ropes. Bodied. Free. See the spirit take the fox away. Oh no, I got caught up, man. Dang, how am I supposed to make that jump? What am I supposed to do? Crap. Try one more time, guys. Maybe, uh, just climb up here? Oh, ho, ho, ho. So simple. No. Holy moly. Dang, he bought me hard. Sorry, guys. Man. I'm gonna end the video here, though. And I'm gonna complete it. And then I'll cut it back on. It's just easier that way. So I'll see you guys, as always. Thanks for watching. I almost got taken out. And uh, appreciate it. Alright guys, later and peace.